What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys a company called Glue Tread. And with this bad boy right here, if you guys are off-road or anything like that and you guys do get a flat, this is gonna help repair it. We're gonna show you guys what's inside and we're gonna show you guys how to use some of the stuff that's in here. Let's go ahead and now get into the video and show you guys. All right, you guys, so like I said in the beginning, this company is called Glue Tread. If you guys don't know about them, this one is gonna be their expedition kit. What comes inside of here is gonna be super handy. So if you guys do have like a recovery kit or anything like that, I definitely add this to it, but it will help you guys out. So if you guys do get a flat off-road, trust me, it's happened to me and my friends. One time we were out in this same trail, and he blew out a tire and it sucked because we had to drive it out all the way until we got to the road and got someone to tow us out. All right, so first day in, what happened, Chris? Well, you wanna to explain to them? Where's that piece that I ran over? Well, thanks to some, you're probably gonna beep it out, but thanks to some dumb asses out here in the desert, I ran over some piece of metal and it punctured my tire, damaged my fender. And what sucks, it's literally the first day we just literally got here, like maybe 10 minutes in. Uh, it sucks. This is what actually hit his truck. I just threw it in here right now, just so that way no one else steps on it. Yeah, we'll get that out of here because there's. If we leave it here, even if it's somewhere where somebody can't get it, the next dumb will put it out on the road and somebody else's night up. But this kit, if we had it at that point, it would have came in handy. So no matter if you guys are on road, on a fire road, or just doing some rock crawling or anything like that, this will come in handy. We're gonna show you guys kind of what comes inside with the Expedition kit because they do have different kits. And we're also gonna be showing you guys how to use some of these bad boys. So yes, we're gonna be popping some tires today just for this video. So make sure to smash that like button because this is gonna cost me money. So let's go ahead and just open this up and show you guys. So this one is gonna be the Expedition kit. As I said in the beginning, you're gonna get a couple things in here for a tire repair. So it's gonna come, of course, with the patch for the sidewall. So these are gonna be the patches, whether it's a big one or a small one. It's also going to come with some sandpaper. We'll show you guys why. It's gonna come with the glue needed to apply this. And then also inside the kit is gonna come with a regular style tire patch. So this is gonna be it right here. And then we'll show you guys how these look inside. But this is gonna be something that you've probably already seen. It's just these are a lot more high quality than the regular ones that you buy at the store. And then of course, sometimes if you guys are off-road as well, you can actually damage your valve stem. So this is gonna be an emergency valve stem from Colby. That's also going to come in the kit, which these are super helpful. I know in the past, I've actually blown out about three valve stems and this would have came in handy. So this is something good to have as well. Today, we're not gonna be utilizing these. So let's just go ahead and now dive right into it since we do got some nice instructions that they do provide. This should be helpful as well for us and for you guys. If you guys do get this kit, you won't have to worry because once again, it's super handy. They do have everything step by step with color. So let's get it. We're going to go ahead and now test this out. So like I said, make sure to smash the like button because I'm going to spend some money here. So you can see I have a very sharp knife. I have a nice drill. So we're going to be puncturing a hole right here on the side and we're also going to be puncturing a hole right up the top. So they do have those two repair kits in this kit. So we're gonna see if they actually work. Like I said, they also have a valve stem kit as well to go ahead and repair it. So let's go ahead and just stab it. I'm very scared. It's a strong tire. We're in, we're definitely in. And then let's go ahead and go with the drill. We're in. So there it is, you guys. Heck yeah. This is where glue tread is gonna come in handy. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and now start repairing it. So we're gonna start off with the sidewall one. So I'm gonna take this knife out. Let's see if I can. Oh, geez, it's a good knife there. So for this kit right here, you're gonna have the two sizes. You're gonna have this size or you're gonna have the bigger one. You're also gonna wanna go ahead and get the one that says stop. That one's gonna have the actual sandpaper and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get your glue. So after you've already located where the hole is, I know for us it was the knife, but say you guys didn't know where it was, you wanna go ahead and locate it. Once you do, you wanna go ahead and kind of clean off the surface. I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick, just like that. So there's no debris around it. All right, you guys, so after you've located that one that says stop, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get one of the sandpaper. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you sand off very, very well in that area. So that's what I'm gonna do right now and then I'll get back to you guys.
All right, you guys, so up next, after you locate that stop card, you also wanna now flip it on the back. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and read this. It's gonna to explain to you on how to apply the glue because that's gonna be our next step is applying the glue and then adding the tip to it. It's gonna come with little tips. Make sure you apply those on. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead and now, now that we've opened it, we're gonna dab it around the area where it's cut, which is right here. And you wanna do it the size of this. Get this going, I'm gonna to try to see as far as the sizing here. Did get some glue on the glove, so that's not good. Don't do that. All right, you guys, so now that we left this on, now we're gonna go ahead and get onto the next one, and then we'll go ahead and start airing this up and see if it actually works. So let's go ahead and remove this drill. All right, so it's gonna continue to air out here. So for this next step, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get one of the little sticks like this. They do have a little bit of stick to them, but it's not too bad. And then of course, you wanna go ahead and get the two tools that look like this. So on the first step, what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get the one that's like a needle like this, not the one that has the hole through kind of like uh, to sew. So don't use that one. Do is you wanna go ahead and locate something still is in there. You wanna go ahead and of course pull it out, say it's a metal. And then after you've done so, now you get that one. You're gonna go in with it. You're gonna open up the, the wound there. And what this is doing is gonna allow this to sink through. So that's why we gotta open it up a little bit. So once we've done that, then you get your next tool, which is the one like for sewing, that style. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and put that stick right through it. This is gonna be the fun part, getting it through. And you wanna make sure it's kinda like in the half point, so that's what we need to get it to. Right about just like that. And then for this next step, what you're gonna wanna do, this is gonna be the fun part. You're gonna need to get it in that hole right there. So. And after you've put it in, you wanna go ahead and yank out quickly and it should stay behind. One, two, three, go. And there it is, you guys. So now that we yanked it out really quick, up next we need to go ahead and now air up the tire and we're gonna see if this actually worked. And now if it did, make sure to check out the description box below because I've linked the product there. Like I said, browse their website. You don't have to get the expedition kit. There's many other kits you can get or you can get single kits as well. So go check them out and make sure to smash the like button. Now to see if I'm walking home. All right, you guys, so now that we finished up with the patches, everything's dried up, we're gonna go ahead and now connect the air and we're gonna start airing this bad boy up and we're gonna find out if this actually worked. And it's looking like it's working. <laughs> so we don't have to walk home. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we aired up to about 22.5 PSI that you can see there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and ride around a little bit. There is some sand dunes that we wanna check out out here. And we're just gonna see how it goes. Go ahead and check the PSI, see if it went down or see if it went up or whatever. As long as it doesn't go too low to the point that it's flat, we'll be satisfied. I'm not hearing anything coming out of the tire, but just in case you guys do do it wrong, Keep in mind, inside the kit, it does come with a couple and it does come with a couple of the glues as well. So just in case you do it wrong, pull it off and then go ahead and try again. One thing I did wanna take note on is you wanna make sure to sand the tire till it's flat. So if you can see on the camera right here, there is like grooves. So this side is flat, there's a groove and then it goes flat again. So say you are patching it kind of like how we did it in that area, you wanna make sure the tire is completely flat. So with the sandpaper that it does come with, just keep sanding, 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 because if it's not flat and you try to put it over this groove here, it's not gonna catch and the air is just gonna come out. So keep that in mind, that's super crucial. And then just keep in mind as well with the glue, less is more. You put too much, it's not gonna stick. If you put too little, it won't stick as well. So just less is more, follow the little data card that they give you guys and you should be good to go. So we are gonna go ahead and just drive around, test this out a little bit. And then after this, we do have a two hour drive home. So we'll go ahead and see if that tire actually lasts. If it does, I'll let you guys know. All right, you guys, so I know you can't really tell, but we just hit some sand dunes. And then right now we're actually in like a little sandy, rocky section. I'll be honest with you guys, this section here is scaring me a little bit just because there's a lot of sharp rocks. And while well, you guys know, we just patched the tire with two patches. So if it makes it through this, it makes it home. I mean, I'd say it works. Of course, we haven't done any type of rock crawling, but I do know a lot of people that have tried it rock crawling. So I've seen it work for them. So, so far it's holding up. We're doing good. I'll show you guys the PSI right now, but I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys do do the sidewall patch, this is technically just to get you out of the trail, out of a big pickle and to the tire shop. 
so keep that in mind now as far as the plugs that go up top those ones i mean you can run them i've ran them on previous cars for a couple thousand miles of course it's not recommended you always want to go ahead and switch it out when you do have a, a tire like that but just wanted to let you guys know the disclaimer on that all right you guys so now that we showed you guys the product we showed you guys what comes inside we showed you guys a couple things on how to use it and then we also tested it out we did some gravel road we did a little bit of sand we did a little bit of rocks we did a little bit of everything just to see if it would hold we're now at the end of the destination we've just aired up now we're going to go ahead and go home it's two hours away from here so i'm going to see if i can make it all the way home as well and now if it can then that means it did its job because technically this isn't supposed to be for something to keep on forever this is just to literally get you out of the trail and to a tire shop so that's a big disclaimer right there all right you guys we're on our way home we're already about an hour in and i still have about another hour to go i did want to show you guys the psis are anywhere between 37 to 41 and it looks like they haven't dropped from there so which is a good sign as long as it goes up that's fine since we are on the freeway that's normal highway that happens to tires just in case you didn't know but everything seems to be good you guys so now that i'm home i wanted to show you guys so if you guys think about it it did go down about five six psi but keep in mind we did do two to three hours of trailing and then of course two hours of driving on road so i still think that's a pass if you guys want to get it you guys already know the company go hit them up grab your kit so there it is you guys if you do want to go ahead and purchase it make sure to check out the description box below if you guys did like today's video please make sure to like comment and subscribe now you know what you guys should like because i did end up doing this to my tire and now i have to buy a new one heck yeah Feel free to subscribe